Hey guys, I'm back with another makeup tutorial. I thought today's video would be perfect for doing a back to school makeup look, especially since most places school just started back. I know with me going back to college, I don't want to wake up super early in the morning and I don't want it to be very comp or my makeup routine to be very complicated. So I thought I would just keep this tutorial very simple, very easy. Um, I'm pretty sure most of it's drugstore, and if not, I'll tell you a good solution or a good substitution for the product if it's not drugstore. Um, but like I said, I'm just gonna try and keep it very simple, easy, and quick, and it's perfect for back to school. All right, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, first off, we're gonna be starting with the Benefit Professional Primer, and you're just gonna take a little pea-sized amount and just put that in your problem areas or like just places you really want your makeup to go on smoothly. So like mine's my nose, especially like since it's the professional, it covers up your pores. And you're just gonna pretty much smooth that all over your face. And then another problem area of mine is on my chin because that's where I tend to get um, mostly dry skin. Okay, so for back to school, you don't really wanna go like a full on makeup look. Um, especially if it's a quick tutorial. So again, I'm just going to use my Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream from L'Oreal. And I'm still using that same anti-redness one that I used in the last video. So you're just going to dot this all over your face. And then just, you can either use your fingers if you want to go super quick. Or you can use just a makeup brush. I'm using like a, just a Real Techniques buffer brush to buff this into my face. Now that your foundation is applied, we're just going to go ahead and do your eyebrows. You can just take any eyebrow brush that you want, or you even don't really have to do this step, especially if you have perfect eyebrows, but I don't, so I'm just going to brush through my eyebrows and then fill them in real quick. And then today I'm just using the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. Okay, after you finish your eyebrows, you're just going to go back in with concealer. Um, you can even really skip this step if you still have that perfect looking baby skin from like middle school or high school. Um, but if you don't, then you can go back in with your concealer and just cover up any spots that you want to cover up. Um, I'm going in with the Boing by Benefit concealer today. And I'm just going to use my finger to warm it up and then dab that on the areas that I want to cover up. Okay, now I'm just going in with an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and then just blending in around those little blemishes. I tend not to use my fingers on these blemishes, or like to blend them in at least, because then that will just get more oils on your face and cause even more breakouts. So I tend to just try to use a clean makeup brush. Alright, so after you use your face concealer, I'm going to go in with a highlighting concealer for underneath my eyes. Um, I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter Concealer, and you're just going to click some product out, and then sweep this underneath your eyes, and then around my nose, and then just on my chin where there's redness. And again, I'm going in with that same brush and just blending it in. Okay, once you have all your concealer blended in, just go back and set it with some powder. Um, I'm using the NYX HD Finishing Powder today, which is a big fluffy brush. We're just going to swirl that in. And then just set your face, especially since you want this makeup to last all through school. And then I'm going to take some extra powder and put that on my eyelids so I can have the base for eyeshadow later. Now you can use eyeshadow primer if you want, but this tends to work just as well for me. God, my foot's going to sleep because I'm sitting Indian style. Okay, after you powder, you just want to go in with just a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, I'm just using a really light pink color from MAC, and it's called Jest, and it's just this pink color right here. Hopefully my camera will focus and you can see that. 
um, but I'm just using just an Urban Decay brush that came with a Naked 2 palette, and I'm just going to use the big fluffy side and just sweep it on. And you don't have to be really precise, especially since you want this to be very quick. I'll get closer so you can see it. And it's just a gorgeous color. And I'm using this color because it tends to make me look more awake, especially since you want that in the morning when you don't even want to be at school. And again, just take it and sweep it back and forth. And if you want um, more color, you can always just use your fingertip and just dab that along the center of your eye and just kind of blend it out. Alright, just like that. And then another step I wanted to use is I wanted to try out this new Rimmel um, soft coal eyeliner pencil that I got and it's just in white and I'm gonna use that in the waterline to try and make my eyes look even more awake. Again, like I said, you can skip the step, you don't have to do it, but for one, I just wanted to test out this product and two, I like to look awake when I go to school. Okay, and then you're just gonna take it and then rub this, or, or you're gonna run this along your waterline. Okay, and now I'm just gonna take it and put it in the inner corners now, and then blend it out with my finger. I think that looks really good. Okay, now you, what you want to do is you just want to curl your eyelashes and then apply mascara. I'm just using this uh, Revlon eyelash curler that I've had for forever now. Um, and you're just going to want to curl your eyelashes. And squeeze it. And then what I like to do is take the eyelash curler and then invert it. So that'll really give you a curl. Okay, and for mascara today, I'm just going to be using Maybelline Lash Sensational. It looks like this. And like I've said a million times before, this is the best mascara I've ever used. And I'm just going to keep this focused on the top lashes today. Okay, so I'm done with my mascara now, and I forgot to tell you guys the substitute to use for that MAC eyeshadow that I used. Um, so I think, honestly, a really good substitute, it's not exact, but it's kind of the same thing that we're going for, would be to use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Fairly Brazen. And I'm going to try and open this up as carefully as I can because it gets pretty messy. But I'll show you the color on the lid. And it's so gorgeous. It's just this really pretty pink color. Kind of like the same thing we used on our eyelid. Okay, so after you're done with your mascara, you want to go ahead and do your blush. Um, so there's two options you can do. If you have more oily skin, and again, you want this makeup to look to last all day, then I would suggest going for a powder. And so a good powder to use would honestly be... I like NYX, but I don't have one with me right now, or like a powdered NYX eyeshadow, or I mean blush. So a good color would be anything to use like this one from MAC. And what's the name of it? Love Cloud is the name of it. But today, since I have dry skin and this will make me look really healthy, especially if I use it, I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Candy Coral. And I'm just going to rub this onto my finger and then dab this on my cheeks. I always think once you have blush on, it really pulls your lip together. And don't worry, I'm going to go back in and blend this in with my foundation brush that I use. And then just 
blend it in and then this also tones it down some so it's not as crazy looking. Okay, after you blend it in your blush, you're just gonna go back in with your lip color. Um, so you have two options for this look again. One is if you're that kind of person that just has to have something on their lips, like a lip gloss or just any lip color, um, you can just leave it blank if you want to, or you can use a lip gloss or you can use a chapstick. For the people who like their lip glosses, they can use this L'Oreal lip color in Nude Ballet, like that. And I love the packaging, look how pretty it is. And you just twist it and open it up and it's just this really pretty nude color okay and then if you want to use chapstick i would really suggest using the maybelline baby lips dr rescue this is the best chapstick i've ever found even like the little eos lip balms they don't work for me i've never gotten them to work because my lips are seriously always dry and this is the best stuff that i've found so far so just rub them on your lips. Okay, last step. Again, you can skip it or you can add it if you want, but I really suggest it because this stuff keeps my makeup in place all day long. And it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. And it just looks like this, pretty much what it is. It's like the Urban Decay Setting Spray, but it's the drugstore version. So you just kind of, or I like to shake it up. I don't think you really have to, but I want to and then you just hold it away from your face and then spray. And then like I said, it says your makeup all day. Um, it's really good for people who have very dry skin and they don't wanna use a powder, just use this in your makeup set. Okay, well, that's the look for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, if you have any video suggestions or just any comments in general, be sure to leave that below. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.